Dot product and cross product are very important for mechanical engineers, especially in working with three-dimensional vectors. Vector A has components x equals 1, y equals 9, z equals 5. Vector B has components x equals negative 1, y equals 6, z equals 2. What is the dot product of vector A and vector B? The TI-89 solutions will now be demonstrated. Store vector A into variable A. Store vector B into variable B. Determine the dot product of vector A and vector B. Vector A dot vector B is 63. The dot product operation is commutative, meaning A dot B is the same as B dot A. The dot product operation produces a scalar, not a vector. Store the result into C for future calculations. This is the angle between vector A and vector B, which comes from the definition of the dot product. A dot B is equal to the magnitude of A multiplied by the magnitude of B multiplied by the cosine of the angle between vectors A and B. Solving this equation for theta yields the angle between vectors A and B. Norm is the calculator function that returns the length of a vector. Next, find the crossed product of the two vectors. Cross P is the calculator function for determining the crossed product of two vectors. The crossed product operation is not commutative. A cross B is not equal to B cross A. A cross B produces a vector, not a scalar. Store vector D into variable D for future calculations. Cross product is useful in 3D torque problems. Wikipedia explains cross product more fully, but the important thing for us to know is that vector D is perpendicular to both vector A and vector B in the right-hand sense. Lastly, determine the unit vector in the direction of vector D, which is the vector divided by the length of the vector. Store the unit vector into variable E for a confirmation calculation. What do you expect if you determine the length of unit vector E, i.e. norm E? What follows next is a useful calculator function that automates the calculation of the angle between two vectors. To use the new function, you enter vector A into variable A and enter vector B into variable B as demonstrated earlier in this video, and then run the function. NNX is the name of the new function which will now be explained. Review the previous example. This is how to create the new function called nn parentheses x. To use the new function, you enter vectors a and b into variables a and b, and then run the function nn parentheses x. Simply type in n parentheses x into the command line, and the result will be the angle between the two vectors.